In the world today, many people think that they do not need Jesus. They believe that if they live a good life and abide by the laws, that they do not need to be saved. In their eyes, Christ died for nothing. What we fail to understand is that in God's eyes, we all fail. According to God's holy law, we are all guilty. In the eyes of the worldly law, maybe you are a perfect citizen. But then I ask you, have you ever gone past the speed limit? Have you ever stolen something but wasn't caught? Have you ever thrown some trash on the ground and walked away? Then even in the smallest sense, you should pay some type of fine for breaking the law. No matter how you spin it, if we take a look at our whole life, we can't be perfect even in the worldly law or the holy law. Even more hopeless, we are most guilty in the eyes of God's law. If you have ever been angry at someone else, God says you committed murder against that person. That is how high His law is. Paul reminds the readers that we are not saved by the law. We are justified in Christ through His death. Paul reminds us that we die to the law so that Christ can fulfill it. Christ takes our punishment and we are made clean. We live on God's law, and though we can not ever be perfect in God's law, through Christ's blood, we are clean and blameless. The readers must have forgotten this and were distancing themselves from people a little different from them. They were upholding the old law and forgot that all peoples are saved through Christ, regardless of their background. We as Christians must not think of ourselves better than others because of the blood of Christ, but think ourselves less because we need Him. We recognize our weakness, and we should show others that they are in need of His grace as well. We cannot live our lives as though Christ died for nothing. Christ died for everyone so that we may be saved. We must never think that we can save ourselves. We cannot water down the gospel for the sake of conformity. Stand firm in your faith and know that Jesus did not die for nothing.